recording. Hi, I'm Chris Oster and welcome to the Entrepreneur Magical March Forecast. So this is an amazing year. Um, besides the fact that tomorrow we have a pretty major solar eclipse in Pisces on a new supermoon in Pisces, um, that in itself is a really big indication that we are going to be looking at a lot of the shadow part of ourselves. Um, and I do the monthly forecast with Tarot and I, I sat down and meditated and did ritual and did it yesterday. So that way I had some time to integrate what the information is for this month. All right. So as an overall um, energy for the month, for the year, um, we are in the Chinese New Year of the Fire Monkey. And also in West African Medicine Wheel, this is the year of water. So um, very interesting to have the fire and the water together. And that to me always symbolizes that um, an alchemizing of the soul. So, you know, you can put water and fire together and water can boil and cook things. And if the fire is too hot, it could, you know, make all the water turn to steam and then it's vaporized and dry and overheated. So um, the, the fire has to be tempered with the water. So the other way I like to look at this is when you put fire and water together, and I look at this sometimes as the sun and the rain, um, you get rainbows. So that's when we're alchemizing the soul and really doing that, that work of, you know, kind of remaining in centered and grounded amidst all the boiling and the, the flushing and the purging, um, there's a lot of purifying this year that's going to happen for us. And um, that's a beautiful thing. But we also have to be aware of how we're going to be looking at our shadows. So for March, um, the overall theme is love. So we got the, the card, the Page of Cups. And it's a beautiful, beautiful card. Um, it's a feminine card. It's also a water card. So the overall theme of this month has water, it has flow. So this could mean the beginning of a spiritual love, the beginning of a really awesome partnership, um, both business and romantic. Um, and so the focus is also going to be on giving and receiving messages, words, and symbols of unconditional love. And, you know, so in your business, how can you really flow with love and give love to your newsletter subscribers, to the people in social media? Um, how can you flow more with your emotions and use that material for your, in your business and in your marketing especially? And also, you know, so this is also a really soft and gentle card and intimate. So it's not about, you know, blasting out very um, generic kind of messages. So maybe this is also about connecting more with, you know, those in your business community more one on one or in small groups. Um, and you're going to be really sensitive, both both psychically and emotionally. So you know, be aware of that. You know, you might have a lot of tears. You might have a lot of laughter. It's basically going to run the gamut. So just let that river of emotions flow all month. So our second card is about challenges. So what are we going to like rub up against this month? What is causing resistance and places where we need to, you know, again, look deeper and maybe look at shadow places. And here we got the five of swords. So this card is about betrayal and someone using unfair advantage over you. Um, so kind of what I'm getting is 
that it's a good idea to look at how do you protect your work, like trademarking, copywriting, that sort of thing. If you've been kind of wondering, you know, how can I protect my this or that or make it more official, make it stronger, anything that's going to make your work stronger, more protected, it's going to be a great time this month to really look into that. Um, and I also got that, you know, if you have some newer projects that you're working on, it could be a book, it could be a course, it could be anything. Um, be careful about who you share it with, because it's if it's not quite baked all the way, um, you don't want somebody to rain on your parade. You know, um, you don't want someone to discourage you before you know, because they, they don't have your whole vision of what the final product can be. And even if you have it, you may not be able to articulate it yet. So if you're feeling like you really need feedback and you want to share, make sure you do it with people you really trust that are really like people that have your back and want to encourage you. Um, and this, and so this is not a time to be paranoid or, oh my God, someone's going to steal my work. It's not about that. It's about, um, you know, meditating, calling in protection um, from the angelic realm, from deities that you believe in and asking for guidance about, you know, in my work and, and the part of my work that's still in a vulnerable state, what do I need to do? Ask for that guidance and it will come through. And, and this also goes for you. If somebody tells you something that's, you know, really close to their heart before you go and say, Oh my gosh, you know, maybe on social media, you're like, Oh, I was so excited. I talked to blah, blah, blah about this thing she's doing. It's amazing. And da, 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 da. Um, make sure you ask permission before sharing something that someone else told you about what they're working on because they may not be ready for it to be out there. So just again, be discreet and be um, mindful, okay? So the third card is all about what, what are the, what's the support this, this month? And the support card is the King of Wands, which is a wonderful card to have here. It's very firm, authoritative, masculine, um, and it's the King of Fire. So here again, we have the fire with the water. So, um, the King of Fire is here to give you added charisma, enthusiasm, um, joy, um, confidence, and knowledge of how to best promote your work. So interesting that, um, that we have a challenge about how much are we sharing and who are we sharing with. And at the same time, there is support here to promote your work and to move it forward. Um, so the king is assuring you that if your heart is pure, success is going to come in and transform your business and life. So meditate on your intentions. Feel into your heart. Is what you truly desire from a pure place? Not from a place of fear or lack. And also not from, you know, it's also about being humble, even though the king, you know, this particular king is also very, has a lot of bravado, which is good. And we just want to make sure that we're grounded too with that bravado. We're not just, the bravado is not covering up insecurity, that we're really going, wow, I'm really feeling good about this from a pure place of integrity. And money is sacred to the king of wands because um, it's a needed resource for your growth and your livelihood and your personal life. So again, he's asking, how can you bring in more resources into your business? Who can you ally with and partner with to, to get your message out there, to get people into your world so they know what you're up to? And I really believe that the king here is a very auspicious sign that this month you will get the resources and financial support that you are wishing for. Um, and part of the receiving is also asking and telling the right people about what you need. So the, the King of Wands is very verbal. So again, I think this is a clue to speak up and um, tell people what you need, put it out there. Um, 
and yeah, so there's also a message here about self-esteem, like really digging into how valuable your work is and coming from that place when you promote, when you tell people about what you're doing. So follow the lead of the King of Wands this month and be bold. Ask for what you want and tell people what you need. So the fourth card represents our fears. And here we have the four of pentacles. So, um, so money is on your mind this month and that's not a huge surprise because next month is tax season. So a lot of entrepreneurs are like going, okay, it's all about, you know, balancing the books and doing your taxes and paying quarterlies or getting ready to pay quarterlies and all that good stuff. Um, so the four of pentacles is basically saying, again, take this middle path with your fight, with how you work with your finances. So this is not about being stingy and holding on to everything and not spending a dime. And it's definitely not about overspending. It's about finding that middle range that's comfortable. Um, so if you start like feeling clingy about your money, you, you, that's a sign right there that you are in a place of feeling lack consciousness. And if that happens, what a lot of people do is, they maybe they tithe to their church or to an organization that they really love and believe in. They um, maybe they give money gifts to friends and family again to feel more generous and to open their hearts in that way. Or they clean up their closets and donate things like furniture and old clothes to um, to charities. What, you know, so basically, if you're starting to feel like, oh, I'm scared and I've got to hold on to every dime. Find ways to open up that channel. Um, and some people may have an opposite reaction this month. This is also coming through um, just through spirit to me. Some people might actually like spend like almost everything in their account to the point where they're like down so low that then they actually create a situation of lack. So if you're if there's money fears woundedness um, shadow aspects of this, um, this is a good month to dive into it and to really focus on um, prosperity consciousness, on being generous with whatever you have, but also not putting yourself in a position where you have to worry about how much money you have in the account. Um, so remember again, the, the theme of flow, we have the overall theme of the month is that water and that flow. And we also know that this is the water year on the West African medicine wheel. So the more you let love, money, and your gifts flow, the more fulfilled you will feel and the more successful you'll be. So our fifth card is about action. So what kind of action do we need to take this month? And interestingly enough, we have the Seven of Swords, which is a counterpart to that challenge card. So this is another card of betrayal and deception. So please do not be paranoid. I know it can be hard when we get messages like this because it can bring up fears like, oh, who's out there that's going to get me or betray me? Um, so I like to look at this card as a confirmation that if you've been worried about someone copying your work or talking behind your back, like another colleague saying stuff about you that maybe not be so nice, um, this is a confirmation that you will be protected from that. And again, always call upon your, your angels, your guides to protect you and to put yourself in a nice protective shield. Shielding this month is really important, obviously. Um, shielding your energy because it's not just the physical things it's somebody maybe who's va somewhat vampiric and taking energy from you um, so keep your intentions pure and focused on love and service and if you again if you feel the instinct to trademark or copyright or protect your work in any way follow your inner guidance and do it um, the, there's an alternate meaning to this card, which is that if you're trying to be sneaky in a sense of like with yourself, 
like you know something's wrong in your life or your business and it's not quite working and you're just kind of trying to tiptoe away from it and just ignore it, this is a big sign to stop ignoring it. It's going to bite you in the ass. So um, don't, don't procrastinate on things you know you need to do. Make time. And even if it's just one little thing a day, one little step, just do it. Just take care of it. And your mind will just be so open and clear. And you'll feel like, okay, yeah, I don't have to worry about this stuff because I took care of it. So the outcome for this month is one of my favorite cards in the deck, and it's the sun. It's a great card for entrepreneurs. It's one of the best cards in the deck for entrepreneurs. Um, so it's a beautiful affirmation about living from the heart and making decisions based on love and abundance, not fear and lack. So the sun is the law of radiance. So as you, you know, take steps to, to step into the spotlight because the sun is going to spotlight you, um, just know that you're going to be celebrated and protected. So this is a really great month to launch something new or to begin new projects. Um, there's a lot of, it's very auspicious. There's a lot of good fortune. Um, so kind of what, how I sort of gauge, am I ready to launch something? Am I really ready to begin something? It's like, I really tune into, am I feeling fiery passion around this? Am I feeling really enthusiastic, like so excited that I have to launch or I have to start it now? Then use, let your body guide you and your heart guide you as to when is the right time, because this could very well be the right time to do it, even though, you know, you might feel, you know, a little bit shaky, but if that, if that passion is there and that enthusiasm is there, I would say go for it and really, again, flow it out with love, flow it out in the gift of service, flow it out in knowing that this is going to bring you great abundance, have just a lot of love energy around it. So the other part of the sun is also about physical health. So this is a take extra time this month to soak in fresh air and the sunlight and get exercise. Um, you know, the focus on your physical vitality this month because, you know, having that magical glow of health is going to attract more clients and contracts and customers and more abundance, right? Um, and feel grounded and successful. Um, feel confident. This is really a brilliant time of success and accomplishment for you. This is going to be a beautiful month. Um, we have the eclipse tomorrow, the solar eclipse, new moon in Pisces. And um, you're going to, you know, shadow stuff is going to be seen, but also. Um, be compassionate with all of that. Be loving with all of that. Because remember, our overall theme for the month is love. So it's not just about loving everybody else. It's also about loving yourself. So I hope this has been helpful. Do you guys have any questions? I'm not seeing anything. Great. So you can find me here at uh, chrisoster.com. And if you go to my website, you will see um, that I have a 150 plus page free uh, gift for entrepreneurs. So it teaches you how to do content marketing that doesn't suck. It's super awesome. It's free. It's over 150 pages. There are a myriad of amazing contributors. Um, Danielle Laporte, Lisa Beck, um, Tanya Geisler, really top-notch, amazing, amazing entrepreneurs who have provided um, wonderful guidance for all of us. So I um, recommend you go there and I will be back next month with the April Magical Entrepreneur Forecast. Thank you so much. Have a great day.